Yes, Mr. Shaila. Please, you come and speak in the microphone so that your question is also recorded. Hazur, uh, the Pranas Messiah has explained seven stages of uh, human development. And then Hazur has compared those seven stages uh, to the seven stages of human spiritual development as well. The question I want to ask, does those seven stages apply to a religion when a religion is completed as far as the teachings are concerned or that religion is concerned? Does that take 7,000 years to reach that stage? Uh, this question of 7,000 years is uh, extending the thing too far. Okay. When you talk about a period of 7,000 years or 7 days or 7 nights, there are religious terminologies indicating a certain period with fixed uh, uh, developmental periods within. And it's meant only that. So you don't uh, translate, it, trans translate them into human countings and human years because they are different things altogether. Moreover, if you also speak of 7,000 years periods of human history within our own concept of years, even then this is, there is no sharp, hard and fast line to be drawn between the beginning of a 7,000 year era and the ending of the one. Because what happens is that for a particular 7,000 year, the development which, uh, which takes place is much more long rooted in history. And the ultimate 7,000 years which count, they are mentioned, but the whole uh, history behind it, the preparatory history, is uh, not mentioned because it's not worth mentioning. Only the final consummate stage of their development is mentioned in years. That is, uh, that can be understood if you consider the creation of man. Man was created to the best of human knowledge as a homo sapien. He was created about uh, a few hundred thousand years ago. That is the maximum we can go back. While all that took for the preparation of man was so large in comparison to the creation of man itself, that uh, the age of this world and its development is 4.5 million or thereabout. 4.5 million years. So the scientists compare it, those who know mathematics, uh, in the form of a 24 hour watch. They say, suppose this 4.5 million period is, con is concentrated into 24 hours then the creation of man would be placed somewhere in the last second of the 24 hours. That is the comparison. So all that is important is man, not the period behind, because that period was created only for the creation of this ultimate purpose of creation, that is man. So that which was most important took the shortest period. So when they speak of 7,000 religious years in human history, all that is meant is that all the important period of religious history comprise 7,000 years. Before that, whatever it was, of course there were human beings, but the, the period before this was not worthy of mention. It is only meant then, nothing more. So don't uh, conceive a very narrow concept of human race as if to whom man has been created for the last one, 6,000 or 7,000 years and the humanity, human race would end after 6,000, 7,000 years. The decay also, that is the aftermath of a period, takes very long. The period itself sometimes is much shorter than the decadent period which follows. And that may be spread over many, many thousand years. Even uh, it could be many hundred thousand years for the man to decay ultimately and to be finally rejected 
and for a new race to develop from among men or maybe from some other source. So that is what is meant by Hazrat Musi Maudul Islam, the founder of the other community, when he speaks on this subject in terms of years. <laughs>